Our mobility is key to how freely we can move our bodies. Yet for many of us, the flexibility we remember having in younger life is no more. But what if there was a way we could regain what we've lost to allow us to move better, to do more of the things we enjoy in life? My name is Metcon Marcus, and this is the story of how age 39, I rediscovered my mobility and how you can too. Today's video is broken down into three parts. Briefly, why mobility matters, a review of the pliability app, and lastly, the results I've seen between day one and day 200. So very briefly, why do mobility routines matter? Being strong is a good thing, but as we age beyond 30, we lose between three to 5% of our muscle per decade, and lifting weights, whether that be dumbbells, kettlebells, or barbells, can help us build and maintain muscle mass as we get older. But should, or more importantly, does that need to come with sacrificing your mobility? Now, being completely honest, I've been as guilty as anyone of neglecting my mobility. You know, you get to the gym, and maybe you've got 30 to 45 minutes before you need to head home. And the last thing any of us want to be doing is committing 10 to 15 minutes to a mobility routine. But over time, that neglect can lead to an impaired range of motion and an increased chance of injury. At some point, we'll all experience setbacks in our life or within our training. And last year, I sustained an injury. At the end of my rehab, I could see I'd started to regain some of my mobility. And I wanted to continue on that journey. And that's when I discovered pliability. Prior to late 2022, the pliability app was previously known as RonWod. In the transition to pliability, it shifted its focus away from being predominantly a yoga for cross quizzes recovery app to a platform for a much broader audience. So whether you exercise a lot, a little, or not at all, there's a program to help you improve your mobility across the body. So the review itself is split into three sections, an overview of what you can expect, the app mobility test, which helps you establish a starting point to progress from, and then then we'll dive into some of the specific programs within the app, which are called Pathways. So what's good about the app? All the routines are downloadable, which is super helpful if you want to be able to use the app when you don't have access to Wi-Fi. Now for the majority of the positions, you're given a modification if you can't make the stretch. This might mean using a prop or a cushion to elevate part of the body. The routines have a light voiceover, which gives you prompts to let you know how long you've got left in the stretch. You can also custom a playlist for background music, so what's not so good? There's a fair degree of discomfort, particularly in the first few weeks. I realized quite quickly I had terrible ankle mobility, which meant sitting in the seated saddle position, very uncomfortable to begin with. This is a process of undoing, certainly in my case, years of neglect, and that comes with some pain. The good news is the more you do, the more your body adapts and the easier it becomes. To get the real benefits of increased mobility, I'd suggest you need to be doing the routines at least two to three times a week. They are genuinely around 20 minutes long, so you're looking at a total one hour commitment per week. So on to establishing a starting point with the pliability mobility test. The mobility test takes a few minutes and you can complete it as many times as you like. You'll be asked to go through a range of different movement patterns, during which the app will measure your biomechanics to help you identify the areas and routines you'll benefit most from performing. It's a helpful tool and something I'd recommend everyone wonders when they first start using the app. If you're ready and want to sign up to a free two-week trial of the app, you can do that right now using the first link in the video description. So diving into specific pliability programs, which are called Pathways, the Welcome series is an essential place to start, particularly if you're new to mobility routines. It eases you in nice and gently and has plenty of modifications. It's also slightly less intense than some of the other Pathways, where you can be holding a single stretch for three to four minutes. Secondly, if you're somebody who's sitting down a lot with your work, the Desk Job Hero series will be a must. Each of the routines in this series focuses on unlocking tension that build up in the shoulders and the hips through long periods of sitting. This has become a go-to frequently revisited routine for me. Running is an essential part of any exercise routine and we've all experienced those post-day DOMS where everything feels super stiff and achy. The running mobility pathway is particularly helpful for both helping you build better range of motion for the movement patterns in running through to helping you stave off the post stay stiffness by fully stretching out post run. Other pathways of note include the programs targeting the lower back and overhead range of motion, both of which I found particularly helpful in relation to weightlifting and kettlebell training. The pre-sleep routine is my favorite to date. Over time, I've really started to look forward to these sessions, even on those days when I don't feel like it, knowing that I've got 15 to 20 minutes before bed where I tune out from the stress of the day, get away from my phone and the distractions. I genuinely look forward to working through the discomfort
comfort and building a better me or you for tomorrow. So on to results between day one and day 100 to give you a sense of progress. Firstly, taking a look at the pliability app mobility test results, I've seen an increased total body mobility score plus five, with the highest improvements being in the hip and ankle mobility. Secondly, in terms of my personal reflections, the areas I feel I've seen most increased range of motion have been in my ankles and quads. This is most visible in the before and after comparison of the seated saddle stretch. A pose that I couldn't even get into in day one was the rear leg hold dragon, which only with time and increased hip and hamstring mobility have I been able to enter this position. There are many different ways we can improve our mobility. So if you've enjoyed today's video, do also check out our mobility tips here, as well as our mobility routines down here. Happy stretching and don't forget to grab your two week free trial of the app using the first link in the video description. See you in the next video. This is Metcon Marcus out.